closed off Harvard Square, which I think is in the Cambridge area of Boston. It's quite central actually. It's very pretty. We're gonna have a little walk around. Um, Megan wanted to buy a t-shirt, so that is our goal for this morning. We've got a couple of hours, hour and a half before we have to go and find our Airbnb. So yeah. <laughs> even moochy time. Um, and then I got here and I was like, Beautiful buildings, aren't they? Amazing. Really, don't they? Really pretty. And imposing as well. Oh, well, yeah. So who is, who is you telling me to come here? Uh, JFK. <gasps> Roosevelt. Bushes. George W. Bush. Yeah. Uh, Barack Obama. Yeah. Natalie Portman. Well worth a visit, get yourself and have a look. It's quite an iconic place actually, uh, quite pretty. So um, take the opportunity to walk through. You can't videotape in there because of um, students being in there, so you don't really want to disturb their privacy. Um, but it's a pretty little area. Have a look at that as well. Not sure what that building is, but we'll find out. Okay, so we are staying in an Airbnb tonight on water. There's a party boat just going past. So we thought we'd share it with you. Louise? Only kidding, it's that way. <laughs> Welcome to Boston. Uh, we have just traveled down from Cape Cod after staying in the amazing Airbnb. So welcome to Carp Dam, which is our boat for the next two nights. So come aboard, let me show you. So we've just been met by Chad, who's the guy that owns the boat. Absolutely amazing. We're going to put the link below for the Airbnb. Um, so that uh, if you feel like you've come into Boston, instead of a hotel or a normal land-loving Airbnb, come onto this one. Okay, so we're on the boat now. So we've got a area, seating area up here, uh, which has got the four seats. And then just up there, we've got the captain's seat. So you can still come up and you can sit in the captain's chair. So in the evening, Chad said, that actually, if you go out onto the pier area there, that, that boardwalk, at night time, uh, Boston lights up and you can see the skyline of Boston. So we're gonna do that one later. However, we need to show you the living quarters because this is all fun and we need to show you downstairs. So let's go below deck. Here we have the living room. We've got sofa beds on that side, we've got a couple of seats on this side. In fairness, there is a lot of places to sit in this boat, so it's brilliant. Come with me down here. And then we've got a little kitchen here. It's got a fridge freezer, it's got a two-point oven, it's got a microwave, it's got a coffee machine, it's got a kettle. Just don't run the kettle and the coffee machine at the same time because it will blow the electric. So, here's the kitchen. Hello. <laughs> this is the toilet. And I think there's also a little shower here. It's a little wet room with a shower and a toilet. So there's one here, and there's also one at the front, the back of the boat, which is where we're going to be sleeping. But first, double bed at the front of the boat. I'm not very good at my boat lingo, but here we go. Double bed at the front and air conditioning throughout. And then, let's go that way. We have our bedroom. really comfy. Oh, look there. <laughs> <laughs> so in here we've got another double bed, they're both queen size. Um, so plenty of room for six people in here. And then we've got another toilet and a shower. Just in here. Wet room around there. It's amazing. <laughs> So 
So we have dropped the car off, as you can see, we are now carless. And um, we have jumped on the station uh, down to, um, where have we gone? Aquarium. Um, on the blue line, inbound to Boston, and we're heading towards Quincy Market, which was recommended to us by Chad, the guy who runs the Airbnb boat. So here we go, let's go have a look. Welcome aboard. End of day one in Boston. Mm. And what an amazing city it is. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely fantastic. So we got here, as you know, we dropped the, uh, dropped the suitcases off, met up with Chad, who showed us around the boat, and then has pretty much left us to it and said, give, give us a shout if you need anything. Um, we went and dropped the car off at Logan Airport, mm -hmm. uh, which was relatively <laughs> easy. Um, but then uh, we jumped on the train and went to Aquarium Station. Yeah. Where we got off and it was dead central. Uh, Quincy Market. Yeah. Um, uh, we had a drink, we had a bit of snack. Some sweets. We went to food. Bit of shopping. Food. Beautiful. Loving it so far. One more full day to go though. Yeah. So we'll bring you out tomorrow and we'll show you around. And um, we're going to be heading off to bed in a minute um, after we've enjoyed this view just behind us. Um, so we'll catch you tomorrow. Here, we're at the Cheers Bar, just there, look, we found it. So it's taken about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from, from the, um, uh, the area from Central Town. It's really nice around here, actually. Um, if you look over there, there is a park, huge, and it is full today because it's Sunday and uh, it's really sunny. So anyway, we're going to go in and have a look. Come on in. So we wa I walked in there fully expecting the Cheers bar and everybody to shout, Norm! Good afternoon everybody. Oh, no! But they didn't. Um, it was really busy. Um, if you can imagine, there's food being served anyway. We didn't film on there because there was a lot of people eating their dinner and stuff and we just felt it was a little bit uncomfortable doing it. So anyway, I have the customary t-shirt purchased from the gift shop. Um, and they have a set bar upstairs anyway, so if you're going in there, it's well worth going in, isn't it, Lou? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I don't really remember it because I'm too young, obviously, but um, it seemed quite cool. She was a 70s baby. <laughs> Hang on. Only one year. <laughs> Still in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Boston Common. We're just walking back towards somewhere to eat because everyone's getting hungry. Boston Common, I just read, was established in 1634, which seems really old. It reminds me a lot of Central Park. Just stand on it. What? God, don't stand on it. Don't stand on it. <laughs> Good morning. This is our last day from Boston. Uh, we're flying home tonight at uh, 10, 15, something like that, back into Heathrow. Yep. 
So we're going to have a little mush around uh, Boston. We've just had a little bit of bite to eat. We've had a lazy morning again. It's getting a bit of a theme, isn't it, though? It is. Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes it's fine to just be a bit lazy. Yeah. So we're going off to have a look at the graveyard. That'll be fun. This is the burial place of Samuel Adam, who was one of the people who signed the Declaration of Independence. I would like to know if Samuel Adams of Declaration of Independence is the same Samuel Adams of Beer. I'm sure somebody could tell us. Somebody would be able to tell us. Yeah. Please, in the comments. Because funny enough, there's a Samuel Adams yeah. lorry just behind us. And we just walk past the Samuel yeah. Adams pub. And here's Samuel Adams. So is it the same Samuel Adams? That's what I would like to know. And why are there pennies all over? We've just nipped into a Walgreens in uh, Boston. Um, and the Walgreens have purchased uh, the five cent saving bank. Look at that! That is original safe door. Look how thick it is. It's huge. It's massive. And we're right next to toys. <laughs> really random. Anyway, it's quite fun. End of our Boston tour. That's gone really quick, hasn't it, Megan? Yeah. Yeah. Really quick. I think me and Louis and the kids as well have absolutely loved yeah. Boston. Yeah. We've all had favourite bits, haven't we? But it's yeah. a lovely city. Absolutely beautiful city. Yeah. And we are definitely going to come back again. Yeah. And visit it and, and tour a little bit more around next time we're yeah, in the US. I think so. Definitely come across. Yeah. So uh, it's friendly, it's um, got a good vibe to it. Yeah. So if you're thinking about it, definitely come. Definitely do it. Okay. Anyway. On to our next adventures though. We do. And which are quite exciting. Uh, very exciting. Um, watch this space next couple of weeks, hopefully. Yeah. We'll be sharing something with you. Um, so we're going to shoot off now because we need to go and catch a plane. Yeah. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like. Here. Somewhere. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. From the terminal curb, you can learn more at flylogan.com. Travel is back, and the Fly Logan app. Book Logan Express oh, bus tickets. So we're off. Download the Fly Logan app today.